Okay, today we're taking a look at some new Cree LED bulbs that uh, came on the market. I noticed today at Home Depot and I couldn't resist picking up a few of these. Um, based on stats alone, these bulbs look to be the ideal cost efficient uh, bulb to replace all your incandescents with. Um, <clears throat> the thing that strikes me as interesting comes in both the daylight and warm white versions. Um, the daylight using 9 watts and the warm white using 9.5 watts. Uh, most LEDs over the years as they come out have been kind of low in terms of the brightness, the lumens. Um, that really changed when these Philips bulbs came on the market. There's that uh, standard Philips bulb, um, but these run closer to twenty-five dollars when you when you get these. And we'll discuss more about the competitors to this bulb. But uh, this Cree has eight hundred lumens. It's dimmable. It's shaped like a normal uh, light bulb and uh, reading on the back, instant full brightness, says it's dimmable with standard dimmers, uh, non-toxic, safety coated glass. So this basically has all the features that you would want, all the features that match even the Philips L prize bulb, um, other than maybe a little bit of difference in brightness and power consumption, but uh, these were available at Home Depot for only uh, I believe $12 for the warm white and $13 for the daylight LED. So let's open these up and take a look at their light characteristics and uh, see how they stack up against several different competitors, both incandescents, compact fluorescent, and a few different LED light bulbs. I'm... Okay, I've just opened up the uh, warm white Cree bulb, 800 lumens. Uh, that runs about $13 at Home Depot. Now, I'm actually pretty impressed with it so far, and I'll tell you why. You, you wouldn't notice this if you weren't holding it. It has a really soft touch glass. It's like it's glass, but it's been coated with some sort of substance that's very sticky. In fact, your finger can't even slide on that. Um, and it's really interesting feel. It's almost uh, tacky. Uh, and the other thing that strikes me about this bulb is it looks pretty much like a conventional bulb. Um, if I pull out your standard 60 watt general electric, electric bulb, you can see that they're really close in size and shape. Um, whereas if you compare it to something like the Philips L Prize bulb or a standard Philips LED bulb uh, that look a little bit funky at times. Um, you might have someone come to your house and say, what the heck is that? Um, so we'll compare it also in form against a CFL. This is a 9 watt Envision uh, compact fluorescent, uh, very highly acclaimed in terms of light quality. Um, runs on 9 watts um, and also about 800 lumens on this 9 watt bulb. So let's do a quick comparison. How does the Cree stack up in terms of data specifications against some of these other Philips bulbs? Um, this is a new Philips bulb that I've come to like. Uh, this particular one uh, is the 830 lumen uh, 11 watt bulb that is uh it's i like them because they don't look quite as strange as the other bulbs um especially this really bright yellow neon white while still putting out a real decent amount of light 830 lumens so 830 lumens 11 watts this is a 9.5 watt with 800 lumens so the cree actually beats out the phillips in terms of uh, lumens per energy used. Um, however, if you compare it against the Philips L prize bulb, um, the L prize bulb uses about 10 watts 
um, but it also puts out 940 lumens. So it's basically the same power consumption as the Cree, but puts out quite a bit more light. Um, and then the, the earlier generation Phillips bulb uh, is about 800 uh, lumens using 12.5 watts, which is uh, getting bested handily by the Cree. So that said, um, let's take a look at the way that these bulbs actually look when lit and compare them to our main review which is the Cree here. So I'll turn that on. Okay, so let's power up this Cree bulb and check the, uh, see if it's really instantaneous like uh, the package says. Yep, that's pretty decent. Um, let's compare to a standard 60 watt bulb. Um, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. Um, it's actually, in terms of brightness, uh, living up to the claims, it's it's just as bright as that 60 watt bulb. However, uh, the light source seems to be centered right in the middle, where this seems to glow a little bit vertically, a little bit brighter, this uh, conventional GE filament incandescent bulb. Um, but I will say that the light quality from these two bulbs is very similar. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with the light output quality on this bulb from Cree. It's my first time looking at it, uh, and that's quite decent. So uh, let's turn off that incandescent, and ooh, that's hot. I actually had a different incandescent plugged in and it uh, blew out on me uh, seconds after turning on, which is typical for an incandescent. Let's look at a, the Navision CFL. This also has very good light output, this particular CFL, um, in terms of uh, color temperature and quality of light. And uh, if you look at the amount of light coming off of it, the Cree actually is putting out quite a bit more light than this incandescent. Uh, just slightly, just slightly. So there's a light comparison between those two. Let's take a look at some of our Philips bulbs. We'll start with the baseline. If you're into LED bulbs, this has been the bulb of choice for a while, but it's just recently been outdone by recent uh, recent bulbs. Okay, the the Philips bulb here, also rated at 800 lumens, uh, feels a little bit more intense, however it does have, it is blocked by these areas, so it has to kind of make up for uh, not being an entire spherical shape like this Cree is. Um, so I think it may appear more intense light right at the right at the light source, but uh, the actual amount spilling out into the room is real similar. It, you know, they're both 800 lumens. I think they feel pretty close. Um, and all the bulbs that I have here so far, actually, all of them have really good color uh, temperature and output. And that's just due to the fact that I kind of choose my bulbs uh, to have good color characteristics. So, um, we're not seeing anything terrible here, but uh, just as a comparison, you can see the difference there. Let's switch over to um, the L Prize bulb by Philips, which is really the bulb to beat in terms of light output. I'm expecting it to be quite a bit brighter than this Cree, but then again, it does have the funky shape and it has. Um, you know, some other drawbacks in terms of the ability to dim. Uh, so you can see this, the L Prize bulb, very bright bulb. When it's on, you can't see the yellow anymore, and it's just putting out a lot of light. Um, very intense, uh, but it is a higher rated bulb, and also this retails for about $30, where this is about a third of that cost. So, uh... There's your comparison between these two bulbs. I'm just 
going to take a look at one more bulb. The Philips 830 lumen bulb. Which has a nice, I, I think, improved uh, light. I, I guess I'll call it a filament. I don't know what to call that. Um, uh, it's not sectional like the others, and it ends up getting a lot more consistent light uh, spilling off of it. Um, but all in all, compared to each other in a side-by-side -side test, very similar light characteristics, but... Uh, and very similar light output so I'm pretty impressed with uh, with Cree they seem to have done a good job it feels like a solid bulb I can actually feel this heat sink heating up um, on the edges which has some fins there that should help to disperse some of that heat um, so looking good so far uh, the next thing I want to do is test uh, the ability to dim because that has been a big problem for me in terms of being able to dim my light devices. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that in a second. Okay, so we're going to start this dimmer test with just a standard incandescent bowl. I'm going to show you going through dimming. That's all the way off. You notice it's not flickering in this state. Turn it back on. It lights up. Let's do a slow dim. As you can see, incandescent bulbs, you can see that barely lit up. It, incandescents are very good for dimming applications. Um, they have a wide range of, of light output. Um, that is very nice in dimming situations. So there's the incandescent. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the Cree to kind of compare. incandescent out okay already we have a problem so the power is supposedly out on this particular bulb and what we're finding is it is lit up even when off um, which is not desirable uh, this is only one bulb in a socket, and that's where I generally have the most trouble with. Um, if we do a comparison to the Philips bulb, single bulb in a dimming situation, you'll notice that this Philips is off. Just when it's supposed to be. <laughs> which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, as you can see, this particular bulb is really good at being off and being on when it needs to on a standard dimmer. Um, so Cree loses some marks for that one. I'm kind of disappointed that it uh, wasn't able to dim completely on a one single bulb test because that is something that it specifically says it is able to do um, which uh, Philips actually doesn't say that they'll work on conventional dimmers they say they'll work on uh, certain uh, certain types of dimmers uh, if we throw in the old style Philips bulb and pull out one of the new style Phillips bulbs. You'll see it has the same problem. The switch is turned completely off, but you can see <laughs> Houston, we have a problem, which I gotta give marks to Creed that they're at least not blinking and flashing like the Phillips tend to do. Um, let's take a look at the L prize bulb, just for fun, just cause we have a minute here. So you can see, even with two bulbs, they're still on, uh, despite the switch being turned off. Um, is is on despite the switch being turned off as well. So the only bulb that is able to stay off on a single bulb 
are these particular Philips 830 lumen bulbs, which is my preference at this point. Uh, but let's do some more tests with the Cree. So just to be thorough, I've placed two Cree bulbs into the bathroom here to see if they handle the dimmer okay. And uh, taking a look at it, if you're using at least two Cree bulbs, it's able to shut off and stay off. Uh, so that's actually really nice. Um, there is also a very nice range of brightness available with these bulbs. Um, not quite as good as incandescent and still uh, with one bulb in place the circuit doesn't turn off completely so uh, with one bulb it's a no-go. If you're using two bulbs uh, it's working just fine on on these standard style dimmers. Okay so now we're going to check the power consumption figures of these Cree bulbs. Um, the soft white is supposedly rated at 9.5 watts. Let's take a look. Interesting. Uh, that's pulling 8 watts. So even lower power consumption than advertised. Let's look at the, that was the soft white version. Let's look at the cool white version. 9 watts. That is an interesting discovery. Uh, considering this daylight bulb is rated at 9 watts and the soft white bulb is rated at 9.5 watts. I'm actually showing the soft white at 8 watts and the cool bulb at 9 watts. So uh, reversal of power rolls there. are very interesting. Uh, even so, 8 watts for what, as far as I can discern, a tr 800 lumens. So that's actually very good. Uh, let's compare that to the L-Prize bulb, which is also a, a soft white style bulb. Okay, L-Prize bulb pulling eight. Oh, seven, eight, seven or eight watts. Seven watts. Eight watts. So we're looking at 7.5-ish watts for the L-Prize bulb, which is quite good, considering it has the, by far the most light output of any of these bulbs, uh, which is to be expected of this L-Prize bulb. Especially considering it cost $30. Phillips favorite 830 watt bulb 10 watts it's exactly well it's rated for 11 watts we're seeing about a 1 watt lower on around the board on these so uh, maybe having to do with the, the, the kilowatt meter maybe just a little bit off but uh, good comparison nonetheless of these bulbs that we're testing and last, let's take a look at the standard incandescent bulb for fun. 60 watt bulb should pull 60 watts. Uh, we're showing 5657. So, uh, let's also take a look at the compact fluorescent. Compact fluorescent pulling 8 watts as well. So what did I think of these new Cree bulbs in both the soft white and the cool? Uh, these are great alternatives for you to pick up uh, to incandescent bulbs especially. Uh, if, if you're not aware that these LED lights exist, um, they're not what they used to be if you dabbled in them before. They put out the same amount of light as anything else at this point and uh, use very little power. Uh, 
there's really no difference in light output per power between uh, compact fluorescents and, and LEDs at this point. Uh, well, as long as you buy the right ones. But these Cree bulbs, great bulbs made in the USA, uh, meet or exceed their rated capacities in the, my testing. Uh, compared to something like the L Prize bulb, uh, which is you know the bulb to beat, uh, L Prize bulb still puts out a little bit more light, but these Cree look like a normal bulb. Uh, fit and finish is great, soft touch, uh, safety glass on here, uh, very nice bulb. Uh, the Cree will actually work fairly well in a standard dimmer, but if you have just one light bulb in a dimmer circuit it's not going to turn all the way off. Uh, if you have two, go for it. Uh, so my recommendation on a bulb is actually this Cree bulb unless you have specific needs for one single light in a dimmer. In that case I would use the Philips 830 lumen uh, bulb also available at Home Depot. Um, and one shape like this is what you need as well if you need a single bulb that's going to work in a, in a standard dimmer. Um, the L Prize bulb will flash the old style Philips LED will also blink in a standard dimmer when using just one bulb, but this 830 lumen works pretty well. Um, other than that, these Crees are great. Uh, the quality of light is good. Uh, the brightness is good. It seems very durable. Uh, we'll do some longer term testing, but uh, this Cree is, is a great buy, especially for those of you who are on the fence about light bulbs because it is you know twelve thirteen dollars Philips actually has another 800 lumen watt bulb that competes almost in the same price range this one's about fifteen dollars if you buy it in a two pack um, however still more expensive than the Cree and this bulb is not dimmable uh, this bulb is not intended to be used in dimmers um, but it does have a very nice shape as well but the Cree definitely much better uh, than this non-dimmable Philips because the Cree is dimmable. Uh, so, highly recommend the Cree. Check it out.